Hey, hey, you guys. Hope you're having a great day. Happy Wednesday. So I thought today we could do a nice quick video doing a quick eye look. It is the first day of fall. Happy fall. But I'm going to be a little bit of a rebel because I like to be rebellious and do a bright color look instead of an average fall look. I love me some fall looks, but we're going to do that the next video. So we're going to use some bright colors and use one of my favorite, favorite brands that make these beautiful palettes. This is Cara Beauty. If you've never tried them before, incredible makeup, incredible eyeshadows. You can find them online on their website. You can find them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Literally, I find a lot of mine at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. These are like the only ones, this one and one other one, are the only ones I did not pick up at TJ Maxx. I bought them on their website because they were a brand new launch for summer and I had to get them because they're that good. And look at how cute. This is their purple haze one. We're gonna use this one today. It's a good size mirror. I haven't used this one yet, so I cannot wait to dip into it. It's all these beautiful pinks, purples, oranges, and a nice yellow. And we have some glitters to play with as well. And then this was their new launch over the summer. This is their Escape the Ordinary palette. There was another one as well. And I picked these up and it has some glitters. I have used this one before and it is incredible. But these are just really affordable. They're like 25 bucks online, some of their palettes, but you can get them for like eight bucks at TJ Maxx. And they're so worth it, so worth it. They're even worth the 25, to be honest with you, they're just that good. So all I did was I did my base face. I have everything done on my base and I did prime my eyes. I used one of my new hidden kind of gems in a way. If you like a bright eye to get the bright colors to pop, like when I use bright colors, I use this one. It is the Beauty Crop Stuck On You Eye Primer. And it just looks like this. It's like a very super thick eye base. It's like a very super thick concealer, but it works really, really well. It's very easy to blend out with your finger and it really makes your colors pop and they don't crease or anything. So really enjoy using this. And then I just set it with a regular setting powder since these don't have, that's the only thing, they don't have a regular cream shade because they're all colors. So that's the only thing you're going to have to do is get in like a regular shade just to set because I like to set my primers. But let's get started. We're going to do a nice, a bright, colorful look. We're going to start with this palette right here. Absolutely stunning. We're going to start with this shade right here. Sorry, I lost a nail. These nails did not last me. I always do press-ons. I love me a good press-on nail. But this brand I got, they pop off so easily. And they're so pretty. I wish they didn't. But unfortunately, they did. And I was so angry. But we're just going to go in with a nice, big, fluffy brush. And I'm going to go in with that color. It's called a Break Free. It is that one right there. So I'm gonna start with like the peachy shades, kind of like a peachy. Look how pigmented that is. Definitely bang off your brush or it's gonna be so pigmented, you guys, but it's so beautiful. And I'm just going in with my crease. It's gonna be my transition shade, but look at this color. I am gonna build it, but I don't wanna to put too much on it once. If you're a beginner, that's really good to know. There is some fallout, but for the price of these palettes, they're really good. And the way you're, wait till you see the color pay off. But this is absolutely incredible and I would just build it up instead of putting way too much on it once and you're not gonna be able to blend it out. Build it up little bits at a time. It just makes it so much easier. Yes, it might take a little bit longer, but it'll be well worth it in the end. I promise it will be. But I'm literally barely tapping into this pan and it's really beautiful. That beautiful peachy corally color is absolutely stunning. And yeah, this is gonna be our transition shade. I thought today we'll be a little rebellious and do a different look instead of a fall look. I just thought it'd be fun. So definitely a different way of viewing things. And you guys, there's a new launch coming out tomorrow. It is absolutely incredible. I have the old version of it, but I saw they were coming out with a new version of it. And I cannot wait. It's ColourPop in their Hocus Pocus palette. I have the old original one, but I think I'm gonna try to snag the new one because it looks really, really good. And it's like nostalgic. You cannot ha not want a Hocus Pocus palette, like so incredible. So if you like Hocus Pocus, they're launching it tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So be on the lookout because a lot of people are really, really wanting that because they didn't get the first one. The first one was the hardest to get, let me tell you. Let me show you that color. Look how beautiful that is. I built this one up a little bit more, so I'm gonna build up the other one. I know I'm telling you a bunch of stuff at once, but that Hocus Pocus palette, I was at work and I literally was like sneaking my phone around trying to get this palette. It was so hard to get. 
and then they had to st they uh, had to push it a day because their website crashed completely because all of us were trying to get that palette. It was crazy. So I hope it's a little bit better this year. That way we're not like going through the same thing. I know ColourPop always comes out with a bunch of releases, so I'm sure they figured out the best way to do that. I know that I joined the waitlist, so I should be notified of it, but in case you aren't on the waitlist, check it out if you want it. But I'm not going to build it too much. I just want that nice light wash of color on there, and of course, continue blending. Blending is your best friend in the shadow world. So what have you guys been up to? Can you believe summer is over almost already? It's absolutely crazy. And if you see me looking behind you guys, it's because I'm looking in my mirror that's behind you guys. So I'm not trying to be rude, I promise. But yeah, I'm just making this the way I want it to go. And I'm showing you for a, from a beginner standpoint just to build it up slowly. And make sure you blend out those edges so you don't have any harsh lines. I want this channel to be also beginner friendly because, you know, I'm not saying I'm an expert, please don't think that, but I don't want people to be afraid to try new looks. I think it's, makeup is all how you make it. You don't have to be an expert to create beautiful looks and to express yourself. So that's what I love about it. You can be as creative as you want or do whatever you want with it. It's your thing to do. Okay, so now that we got that transition shade in, I'm gonna go to the Purple Haze palette, this gorgeous freaking palette. I'm gonna go in with that light, light pink, also in the crease, but I'm not gonna use this big fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with a little bit smaller of a blending brush. I should have this organized before I jump on, you'd think. You would think, but I don't. <laughs> but I will. Bear with me, guys. So I'm going to use this brush right here. This one really is good at getting into the crease. So I'm gonna take that light pink shade right here. It's called Baked. Oh yeah, that's cute purple haze baked. <laughs> I'm gonna tap it off. I'm gonna go right in that crease with it and build that up right there. Look at how pigmented. I barely tapped to this brush in there. It is crazy, you guys. Like I said, if you like bright colors, even if you don't, they do have some neutral palettes as well. Cara Beauty is the way to go absolutely you get your money's worth it's a beautiful the formulas are always consistent they're not one palette works well and one palette doesn't kind of thing they always are amazing incredible palettes so my cat is jumping on all my stuff right now mm -hmm. he knows better and since i'm getting it concentrating it into that crease i'm not putting a lot on my brush since it is so pigmented i'm just trying to really keep it into that crease right there like that barely any effort into do, into doing these i love it. it makes it so easy to create a quick look and that's what i wanted to do with you guys today a nice quick look next time we're going to do complexion and eyes which i'm so excited because i have a lot of new stuff for us to play with and i just can't wait but look at those colors you guys now i'm going to go back in just to make it sure the blend is seamless i'm going to go back to that original color right here in the other palette with the fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go right like this right over that to make sure there's no harsh lines because I do want that pink and that other shade to combine and blend upwards so that is why I'm going back in like that and you'll see we're gonna deepen that pink as well so don't fret it doesn't have to look perfect at first you gotta trust the process otherwise it's you know Sometimes it could look crazy in the beginning, but it really does come out beautifully. You just gotta trust yourself in the process. You can make it work. Just doing a little bit more on this side. I wanna get right in that corner. See, I have hooded eyes. If you have hooded eyes like I do, I like to bring mine up higher than most people. That way people can actually see the shadows. Otherwise, you can't see a thing with my hooded eyes. So I bring it up probably about to my brow bone. If you don't have hooded eyes, you don't have to do that. You can always go right into the crease itself, but you wouldn't see anything if you have hooded eyes. So that's why I am bringing it way up to that brow bone, but I'm blending it out up. So it's like, it goes from light to dark in a way. So very, very pretty. I'm gonna add a little bit more right here. I'm a perfectionist, so if it doesn't look right, I have to make sure it looks good. And that's what I, goes against what I just said though, but 
I still do trust the process though. Okay. All right, there we go, perfect. So I am gonna go back, I know I'm switching palettes, but you guys go back to the Purple Haze palette. I'm actually gonna go in to this really pretty, like hot pink right here, it's called Cloud Nine. Absolutely stunning. I am gonna grab a more denser packed brush. Let me see if I have an e.l.f. brush. Those are incredible. I thought I did. Watch, I didn't wash them. The e.l.f. brushes are really, oops, yes they do. These are e.l.f. brushes, the blending eye brush. This is incredible at blending. It's really good for beginners too. And it really is densely packed and really gets in there and can blend in the outer V area. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take that color like that. Look at that. That's crazy. I'm just gonna go in to the outer V, just like that, in a V motion. And we are gonna build that up, of course. Little bits at a time, that way you're not putting too much and then you can't blend it out. Look at that color. That is so beautiful. So beautiful, oh my gosh. I love that. Look how freaking pretty that is. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Have you guys started decorating for fall yet? I started. I still need to get more stuff, but I definitely started. I started before fall even came around. Once like September hits, fall is here for me. I am ready for the pumpkins. I am ready for the festivals. I am ready. And I did bring that up this far because I do that for certain looks. You'll see. You will see it'll all come together. You don't have to put it that high if you don't want to. It is totally your preference on how your eye look comes out. There is no right and wrong with makeup. You do you. Because I like to do this little like shadow. I call it a little shadow effect where I bring it up a little bit above the crease, just a little bit so you can see that color as well. For hooded eyes, that's a really good way to get that V color to, to pop. But look how quickly it was to blend out that pink with this brush and this palette. So easy. And if you really are a little nervous thinking it's not blended out completely, just go back in with this brush right here and just gently go like this and it will help you out, but I think that looks really good. All right, so next what we're gonna do is since right here I left bare, I'm going to add the very lightest pink. The very lightest pink that we started with, I'm gonna add that to that. So I'm just going to take just in any, whatever kind of flat brush you have on hand, I'm gonna use an e.l.f. brush, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pat into that. I'm gonna go right in there like this. But I'm not going to put it in the innermost corner because I'm going to put something else there. So I'm just kind of like filling in that spot right there. Going back in. That color is so pretty, but I don't want it super dark. Okay. Because I want the other colors to show as well. Just a nice light wash of that pink. Okay, perfect. Then you can always go over it with that e.l.f. blending brush, just to make sure it looks nice and smooth. And if you see any patchy spots, see how I see that patch right there? Just take that brush and go right on that spot and start blending. And it covers it right up for you, which is great. Same thing with the other side, because you really want to get down to that lower lash line, otherwise you're gonna, uh, the upper lash line, excuse me. Otherwise, you're gonna see that bald spot and you don't wanna see that. It'll kind of be a distraction from the rest of the look, so. All right, so now that we got this, this is gonna be a really easy look, you guys. Very, very simple, a lot of different bright colors. We're gonna go into that hot pink again, and I'm going to just intensify that lower spot right here, so I'm gonna place it first. I'm literally placing it just like that, and I'm gonna wipe it off on a paper towel, and then I'm gonna go in there and gently blend it. I don't want to bring that much pigment all the way up. I just wanted that color lightly washed above that crease. So we're doing a nice light blend right here. I'm trying to keep it as much in that spot as humanly possible. So, ooh, it looks so pretty. I'm gonna add a little bit more to this side, wipe on a paper towel. 
and gently blend. But these colors are so freaking pretty. And to be honest, what I like about these as well is they don't stain my eyes. A lot of pinks, hot pink colors, like from Profusion and stuff, they they stain my eye and it gets me so frustrated at the nighttime. I'm like, I want to go to bed. And I'm there like with my cleansing balm trying to get it off. It's It, it can be a hassle sometimes. It truly can. All right. So there we go. We got it a little bit. Just do, 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 do. Make sure everything looks blended. Ooh, nice and bright and colorful. I love a nice bright look. This is gonna be super simple. I will do more like detail work with you guys. I just wanna do something super quick for tonight. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to the other palette because it has this, it has a similar color in that palette but not dark enough. So I'm actually gonna go into this one first. This one right here, it's called not a not a care it's that right here and i'm actually going to grab a pointier brush something like this and i'm just going to tap into that look at that color tap it off and i'm going to go right literally at the edge of that v literally like right here on the end of each v and we're going to put a little bit darker of a color as well you will see. Okay, so now that I got that darker color, I'm going, oops, <laughs> I'm gonna go back into this brush right here and just blend it. Ooh, it looks so pretty. These colors are gorgeous. And I will be doing more um, makeup looks this week. I also will be doing a skincare boxy charm edition coming up as well. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. I know that was a high request to do skin all the skincare that I've received from boxy charm. So we're going to be doing that very, very soon. So I cannot wait for that. I cannot wait to see what you guys got in your boxy charms. And remember, I think in November for if you have Ipsy, Huda is going to be the curator for the Ipsy Glam Bag X. So worth it, you guys. That is so freaking worth it. I'm going on a tangent. All right, so next I'm going to do, since I got that color in, I'm going to go into this deep, deep color. It's called Far Away. It's right there. And I'm going to do the same thing. This one's a nice, nice plummy color. And I'm going to go literally as close to the edge as I possibly can. literally as close as I possibly can. See what I mean like that? I'm gonna make sure it is good. A little bit more on this side. There we go, perfect. And I'm going to try to keep that there as much as possible, but I still wanna blend. So I'm doing it like in a V motion. It can be a little tricky when you have hooded eyes because your eyes are so close together like mine are. Just take your time, blend it in that V motion and you're gonna see those good results. Like, look at that. It is so pretty. It's like a berry look. It looks so beautiful. Love it. This palette is so good. All these palettes, I should say. Care Beauty is incredible. Ooh, it looks so pretty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fluffy brush again and I'm gonna go back. I know I'm switching, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go back and take the middle pink now. The middle pink on the fluffy brush, bang it off. And I'm gonna make sure that this is nice and circular because I try to make my eyes look a little bigger than what they actually are. So that's what I do. I make them a little circular, more rounded. Go back in but not completely rounded. You know what I mean? Like stretch, like blown out. There we go. I make the look blown out with the shadows. That way my eyes appear a little bit bigger. Ooh, you guys, I'm so happy how this is turning out. If you have any colors that you have been having struggles with making a look with, please let me know below and I will help you. We'll do a color together. I'll pick, I'll use that color that you're having struggles with and we'll make a look with it. That would be so much fun. So much fun. Ooh, look how pretty I love it. Simple, 
simple, easy, but really freaking pretty. So you can take this further if you want. You can go into the dark purple, which I was thinking of doing that, but I kind of like this berry thing going on. But maybe I'll add a little bit of purple just to deepen it a little bit more. All right, we'll add a little bit of purple. <laughs> so we're gonna take this dark, dark purple right here and it's called Match Up. I'm gonna take that on this brush right here and I'm actually just gonna bring it right here. I'm not going to put it in the, on the upper lash line. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just putting it in the crease up a little bit, just the tiniest amount. And you come, sometimes you have to look up, especially if you have hooded eyes, to kind of stretch it out a little bit. And we can always clean stuff up after. Okay, so now we're gonna use that blending brush again, and we're gonna create this illusion of the shadow. So I'm just gonna kind of blend it out towards that circle, but in above the crease. Kind of like giving the illusion of a shadow. Ooh, that purple definitely was needed. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? That's why I don't bring it above the upper lash line because this shadow is really easy to create and it's really pretty. And it just is a little different than the normal look, you know? Just a little bit different, but still very simple. And these shadows are very easy to blend out, as you guys can see, barely giving me any issues at all, really. And then I'm just gonna make sure. Blending is what takes the longest. It truly does, but it really does make the look, you guys. It truly does. I mean, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Just added another dimension to the look. Oh, and in October, you guys, I'm going to be doing Halloween looks. Cannot wait for that. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please feel free to comment in the comment section or DM me on Instagram, KitKatKatie626. All right, so I could leave it like this, but I have to add glitter. I love glitter. I love it. I can't help myself. So I'm just going to layer it right in the inner corner, and I'm actually going to use this palette right here and that pink right there. Like I said, you don't have to, but I can't help myself sometimes. Sometimes this brush is good at these. It depends on the glitter and sometimes it's not. This is a very loose, chunky glitter. And I'm just gonna put that, whoa, that is beautiful. I'm just gonna follow my natural crease line. Now you don't have to put a lot. You could put just a little bit of glitter. You don't have to put any glitter at all, but not help myself when it comes to glitter. The more glitter, the better. <laughs> Going to do that. Just makes it look so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. Do it to the other side. I'm following the natural crease. I don't want to bring it too high where the shadow, the top of the shadows are. You could use a more pointier brush to be more precise. If you're worried about the glitter going everywhere. Look at how pretty that is. I am going, whoop, I am going to kind of start making it less and less to kind of like blend it out in a way. But it's just, it's so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. You can even take it a step further if you wanted, you know, and take a little bit of this pink one right here. This is another loose glitter and put it right in the middle here. Just like this, just a little bit at a time. Ooh, yes. You will learn on this channel that I use a lot of glitter. I will try to do looks that don't have glitter for you guys, but if you like glitter, you're on the right page. <laughs> and I'm just building it up a little bit because this glitter isn't as chunky. It's a little bit more finely milled. Of course, you're gonna have fallout because it is loose glitter, but look at that. 
Isn't it just a little different? I think it's so pretty, so pretty. All right, you guys. So now we're going to do the lower lash line because the top is pretty much done. So we're gonna go back in with the light pink. I'm not gonna go in with the transition shade. I'm just gonna go in with the light pink. So if you don't have a smudger brush, you can use the e.l.f. Um, blending brush, but I like to try to use a smudger brush. e.l.f. has a really good one. It just looks like this. Nice, short, but still pa densely packed brush. I'm gonna go into the light pink first. And I'm gonna keep it packed like that. I'm going to, let me flick off some of this glitter first though, whoa. <laughs> glitter bonanza. But I'm gonna go in with that. I'm gonna start here. I'm going to kind of put a bunch on there. I'm gonna keep it packed on the brush. Because this is the lightest color, so I'm not too worried about it. Ooh, I'm gonna do the same to the other side. If you want to be a little bit more precise where it's not as far down on the lower lash line, you can use a pencil brush, like a pencil pointed brush. Those work really well. I don't mind mine being a little bit not as close to the lash line. I want people to see the color. And it's just really as easy to just get in there under those lashes and place down that color, so that's it's really nice. So now I'm going to go back into that hot, hot pink. I'm gonna bang that one off a little bit because this one I'm not gonna drag all the way down to the inner corner. I'm just gonna about drag it three quarters of the way. Three quarters of the way. And like I said, you can add, but it's very hard to take off. So build it a little bit at a time. I'm gonna go back into that light pink, just so I can kind of blend the two together. I don't want any harsh lines under there either. And next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into this one. It's a little lighter than the one we used in the other palettes, but I'm gonna go right here about halfway. My eyes like to tear, so if you notice that, I don't know why they do that, they just do it. So if you notice this eye tearing up a little bit, that is the hair. That is what happens sometimes. I have dry eyes, so they just kind of tear sometimes, but that's okay. And then we're gonna go in with a dark purple right on the end. So I'm gonna go back up to that darkest purple color and literally right at the end. I'm not going to, and we're gonna blend this, but I'm literally not pulling it any further than that. Now you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, just blend it up. If it looks kind of like a line, if you went too far, like I sometimes do, and literally go with your elf blending brush and go right under that lower lash line and blend like you would the top. Like I said, my eyes teared, so it kind of darkened the shadow on this eye a little bit. Sorry about that, but is like I don't get acne I get watery eyes instead <laughs> and you could always if you wanted to just lightly use a cut and swab and clean up any of that glitter if it's too much for you but I like glitter so I'm not I'm not afraid of it I'm not or I don't care if it falls a little bit I get it I'm just making sure that it's blended out And now I forgot a mascara, so we're gonna take a quick walk to get a mascara. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Pretty soon I'll bring you guys on a tour. It's just I wanted to get things cleaned up a little bit more before I did that. So what we're gonna use, we're gonna use, I like to sometimes use two different mascaras. So I grabbed two different ones. One of my favorite drugstores and one of my, one of my favorite high ends. And see my eyes like to tear. I'm so sorry, guys. So one of my one of my favorite drugstore is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. 
this one is really good and it's super affordable. The wand looks like this. It is very tapered and it has a bunch of little bristles on there. You know, I like about this is you can get really, it doesn't clump. A lot of drugstore mascaras can clump very easily on you. But look at that. It gives nice length. And I will do falsies with you guys very soon. It's just I'm doing this recording at night. So I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> but I will do falsies with you guys very soon. Because I do miss putting on a good pair of falsies. And I'm just going back with this one now. But look at the length you can get from this. This quick and easy mascara. That's one coat. One coat, you guys. One coat. So this definitely can give you some nice length. It doesn't give too much volume. It gives a little, but that's why I double use two mascaras instead of one. So pretty. And this one's really good at getting on the lower lash line because it's not too bulky where you're worried about hitting where you just put your eyeshadow. Now this is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. This is one of my favorite high ends. Look at the difference. This one's more like an hourglass with a bunch of bristles. Now this one you can get right to that root and give yourself some volume. The only reason I get nervous with this one is for the lower lash line. That's why I don't use it there. Take your time. There's no need to rush but it really does help separate the lashes while giving it some volume that the, the Lash Princess didn't. But together, they're a really good duo. Very good duo of mascaras. Make sure you get the tips of your lashes. Isn't that pretty though? Ooh, I love it. All right, so let's do the lower lash line and then we are done for tonight, you guys. I kept you longer than I wanted to, so I'm so sorry, but I don't wanna take up all your time. Well, look how easy that was to apply to the lower lash line. Super simple, super easy. And you can use the tinier part to get into the outer corner and the inner corner. That's what I like about the tapered end on Lash Princess one. And there we are. We are done for this look, you guys. Let's get you a little closer. I didn't do lipstick, but that's all right. This was about the eyes tonight. What do you guys think? Do you like it? All right, you guys, so if you have not checked out Cara Beauty, go check them out. They're at TJ Maxx, they're online. Absolutely incredible, incredible brand. I'll put on some lip oil so I don't look so dry mouthed. Uh -huh. This lip oil is just from, um, from ColourPop. It's their Lux lip oil and it's in the rain check really good but yeah check out Cara Beauty if you like some bright colors they have a bunch of different palettes a bunch of different color stories something for everybody really and I will be back tomorrow for a full face of makeup we're gonna do complexion and we're gonna do eyes again we're gonna do a fall look tomorrow though because I was a rebel today with some bright colors so we gotta do some fall so I hope you guys have a great night I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any ideas for brands products Halloween looks anything please feel free to leave them in the comment section below or DM me on Instagram. So hope you guys have a good night. Hope you like the look and see you guys tomorrow.